Hi everyone. Today we are going to start with Information Technology Standard 12th Science. Here are some details. We go down to the competency statements for Information Technology Standard 12th. These are separated into two parts, Theory and Skill-Oriented Practicals, SOPs. Here in Theory we learn a few concepts. Here in SOPs we learn how to test those concepts. So both of these are very important for our future examinations. Here we have the index showing us multiple topics that we will be learning in Information Technology. The first one being advanced web designing, introduction to SEO, search engine optimization, advanced JavaScript, emerging technologies, IoT, cloud computing, AI, 5G, server slide scripting, PHP, and e-commerce and e-governance. The skill-oriented practicals, SOPs being the advanced web designing, advanced JavaScript, and server slide scripting. Here we start with advanced web designing. The first one, let us start learning. Students can design the layout of a web page using cascading style sheet that is CSS in short. Students can learn to design the website. Students can design the web form with validations. Students can learn concepts of image map and iframe, inline frame. The aim is to give skills to create HTML web pages using HTML5 and CSS. Here we start with the first subtopic being advanced web designing. We have been introduced to basic terminologies related to creation of web pages. The hypertext markup language HTML is an evolving language with different versions supporting different features. HTML5 is currently used because it supports mobile technology. The major browsers are Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Safari, Opera, and Apple. These all support the features of HTML5. Now we start with the second subtopic being forms in HTML5. In 11th standard, we have studied different controls related to form like text, radio, checkbox, submit, reset, select, and text area. These controls are used to collect different kinds of user inputs such as contact details like name, address, single, or multiple op options, I'm sorry, options from group of options as well as clearing the submit, clearing and submitting data, etc. HTML5 has introduced additional form controls which can also be used for validation purpose. HTML5 Advanced Input Elements HTML5 introduces a number of new input types. The first one starts with input type is equal to color. This defines a color picker. A color picker is very important for the basics of HTML5. Input type number. This defines a field for entering a number. Input type URL. This defines a field for entering a URL. Input type image. This defines an image as a submit button. Input type is equal to date. This defines a date picker with the year, month and day. Input type is equal to email. This defines a field for an email address. Input type is equal to month. Defines a month and year in format is capital Y, capital Y, capital Y, capital Y, dash, capital M, capital M. The next one being input type is equal to range. This defines a range control. Default range for this is 0 to 100. Input type is equal to date time dash local. This defines a date picker that includes the year, month, day and time. 
input type is equal to time. This defines a control for entering a time. Input type equals to week. This defines a week and year control. Input type equals to search. This defines a text field for entering a search string like a site search or Google search. Input type equals to field. This defines a file select field and a browse button for file uploads. Input type equals to tell. Used for used to define input fields that contain a telephone number. Input restrictions. I plead, I plead you to please first read this table and then move on to the next table that contains the input restrictions. A list of some common input restrictions is given below, few of which can be used for a validation purpose. The first attribute gives us disabled that specifies that an input field should be disabled. Max specifies the maximum value for an input for an input field minim min specifies the minimum value for an input field pattern specifies a regular expression to check the input values placeholder this acts as a temporary label showing the purpose of a text field without requiring a label tag required specifies that an input field is required in brackets that must be filled out. Autocomplete. This specifies whether a form or input field should have autocomplete on or off. Autofocus. This specifies that the input field should be automatically should automatically get focus when the page loads. Height and width. This specifies the height and width of an input type that is an image. Multiple. This specifies that the user is allowed to enter more than one value in the input element. This works with input types like email and file that we learned previously in the previous table, in the last table as you know. The next topic gives us some other useful attributes used with input type. Input type elements are ID. This is used to identify the, ele the HTML element uniquely through the document object model. The second one being class. It is used to apply CSS style to individual input elements. The next one we here we have here is examples that shows that show accurate use of the attributes and the input type elements that we learned in previous tables. Here we have the output given as well. A, a practice of this on, on a file on your PC or a laptop would be sufficient for a practice of maximum of these attributes. You could replace a few attributes as you may and get an accurate judgment of how these topics affect HTML5 or these input type elements affect HTML5 coding websites. The next one we have here is the meta tag. The meta tag is a tag in HTML that describes some aspects of con contents of a web page. The HTML tag, HTML meta tag is used by search engines to search information that is provided with the web page. Sorry to stop here, but I, I will uh, attach this, uh, this uh, solved example with this video. Please check it out and don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video to all your friends who would appreciate learning information technology and those who are in the 12th grade learning the new syllabus that has been given to, given to us by the HSC board. The, let's continue. This is empty tag, singular tag which carries information within its attributes. The meta tag is placed between the head and the close head tag tags. Metadata will not be displayed on the web page. This tag, the meta tag is only placed in the head tag until you close it. That is the only limit you can place this meta tag in. So we have various meta tags here. 
I will include I will include a brief explanation of these in the next video. Please, I I really ask you this. Please like and subscribe as you may. Thank you for being a lovely audience.